everybody! Welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today we're going back to RMS. I'm just on the RMS train. It's where I want to stay. It's where I want to ride. I've reviewed so many of their products now, um, so I am going to go ahead and link that down below. Any other products that I've reviewed, I've done eye polishes, powder shadows, the whole shebang. Um, lip to cheeks I just did as well, but today we're talking lip shines. And I'm actually so excited to talk about this product because I feel like this is probably the most slept on. RMS product and I sort of understand why um, they are an expensive product at $36 but that's right on par with just sort of the RMS price point um, they come in six beautiful shades they're formulated with Buriti oil which is a really common oil used in all of RMS products um, it's just intensely nourishing um, it's nutrient rich it just helps with the anti-aging of the lips it just kind of does all that good stuff but um, what I love about these the most is that um, let me try to describe them for you. So they're like a hybrid between a gloss and a tinted balm, but they're so insanely comfortable and they have a mild thickness to them that keeps them on the lips. They're not as slidey as a lip gloss, but they're not all day wear either, like a lipstick. So I don't really know how to describe them. I guess a lip shine would be the way to do so. It's a lip product that has a little bit of shine to it. They're buildable. They give off a nice amount of color that's not incredibly sheer. Yet at the same time, though they're more glossy, I can't really imagine layering these products. Like I can imagine laying them, layering them with each other, but with other products, not really. But they just make your lips look so smooth. And that's what I love. So if you're looking for a lip color and you have just the driest lips, you're like, nothing works for me. Lip gloss is too glossy. I just want something more balmy, but has a nice color this is a really good one. Like I almost forgot, like since I, cause I was using only this one shade moment for a long time. There are some more shades that I have samples of here that I was putting on and I'm like, oh, my lips just look like fixed, like face tuned. And I think that's such an amazing lip product. So I'm just gonna get right into the colors. Um, very quickly though, before I do, we'll talk packaging. Packaging is consistent with all of the RMS packaging white cap that says RMS, then this frosted glass jar where you do get a slight peek at the color, and it does also have the color name underneath as well, and then you just screw off. So you get a ton of color here. These are very emollient, as you can imagine. What I love about the RMS pots is that someone with nails, they are still wide enough for you to get your finger in there. Or of course, you can go ahead and apply it with a brush. Um, they're relatively easy to reapply. I do, of course, wish they were in a stick formula. I think that would be amazing. But sometimes I think, I think things that are this emollient, they don't really work in that bullet format because they'll just get crushed they'll move all over the place I think it is a worthy sacrifice for something that looks this good on the lips and feels this good on the lips so as usual I'm gonna kind of break down the six colors we're gonna go like lightest to darkest sort of and there are six amazing shades that we carry oh and by the way these are fragrance free and like everything else with RNF, they are formulated with coconut oil. So if that is an irritating ingredient for you in any sense of the word, that is something to keep in mind, not only with this product, but with just with just the RNS line in general. And for me, I can use coconut oil a lot. Like on my lips, I have no issue with coconut oil, but everywhere else I just need to use it sparingly. It's just continued use that kind of clogs my pores. So let's just jump right into the colors. I'm gonna be doing lip swatches. I'll swatch it on my arm and leave a photo down below. And let's start with the shade Sublime. Okay, so Sublime. Oddly enough, I like Sublime. In the pot, you're gonna be like, what? That is so not an Ashley color. I am actually wearing it right now. And it's just this really pretty, cool tone pink. And I don't always love these colors on me. It is very, just depends on what I've got going on, but it happens to work with what I've got going on today. Um, and it's just really pretty, cool tone, baby pink shade. Um, I think this typically looks pe looks better on people of a lighter complexion and with lighter features just overall. Um, but on me, I'm actually really quite liking it. And it's because it's not overly cool. It's a nice bright color, so it's kind of making my teeth look a little bit whiter. It's giving me a little bit of a freshness, but it's not washing me out because it's not very milky. That's what it is. So I think as far as this type of color goes, this is the most wearable one that I found in the most comfortable formula, so I'm pretty pumped on that. I might actually pick it up because I could see this being a really good summer option because this is sort of like my go-to summery look. I just like that smoky, easy look with the liner that I usually like, but that little pop of color, bronze skin, and then this lip, it's just good stuff. Next up, we have the shade Bloom, and Bloom is another really pretty color. If that one is just like, ugh, you're just not feeling it, this one's a really nice shade, because this one is the most similar, I would say, to my lip color, probably, um, but it's still definitely a pink. It's just a little bit more wearable than the last one, so this will look good on people with a little bit deeper complexion, medium complexion. I can see that looking 
so gorgeous. Then we have the shade Honest, and Honest is another one that I really like. Again, very similar to my natural lip color, just a little bit more peachy brown than pink. So this one has a little bit more of a nude effect to it. So this one I can see with a smoky eye. And what I like about these is that they're so effortless. So if you want it to look less made up, rather than a lip liner, the lipstick, the gloss, the whole thing, you could do a really nice detailed smoky eye and then just pat something like this on the lips. And it just looks like, hmm, yep, I just woke up like this. It's just that easy, it's just this simple simple and that's how I want to live my life personally. So that's honest. Then we have the shade Enchanted. Enchanted, we're getting into that really pretty mid-tone. I could see this being the most popular shade as always. It has a rosiness to it. It's just incredibly, incredibly wearable. Again, on a deep complexion, I could see this being a pretty nude shade that doesn't pull too ashy because of the warmth in it, but it does have almost like a corally red, very mild undertone to it that is so pretty and of course is ultra mega super flattering on the lips, hello. Then we have the shade Moment, which is my most used because it is the one I have in the large size. And Moment's a really interesting color because it's a very peachy brown nude, but it's more wearable than you think because that warmth to it, I feel like gives it a little bit of life. So I find that this one's a little bit more sheer as well. Um, you can build it up. I think it's just the nature of the color, but it's so pretty. It gives me very JLo vibes. So if you want that warm peachy terracotta nude, this is a really good one. People of a deeper complexion as well. This is going to look a lot more flattering than some of the other shades in the bunch. It's just significantly less pink. It's like on its totally own, uh, playing field and I really tend to gravitate towards these sort of nudes. I think that they look more flattering on me, but very fortunately, this is one of the most flattering shade ranges I found at least on my complexion personally, so I'm really pumped about that. Then finally, the last shade is going to be the shade Trance, and Trance is such an interesting shade. I'm almost confused by it. There's something very cool about it, something kind of edgy, but there's something on me where it's almost like I look a little dead in this color, and it's just a true brown taupe. It reminds me of Spell, which is um, a lip to cheek, I believe. And it just has this, it's like a contour almost. It's so bizarre. It, part of me doesn't hate it, but part of me just isn't used to it. So when I see myself, I'm like, who is that? Um, but I think it's a very interesting shade. I think it's very different. And if you're looking for something like that, this is of course a gorgeous formulation, which I've stressed time and time again. So that's it you guys. That was just a really quick rundown of the RMS lip polish. They are quite the enigma. I don't know what it is about them. It must be that Buriti oil because they're just so good. I love how they feel on my lips. They are a little bit more expensive, so I would probably weigh out, which is the one that I'm gonna use the most, which is the most versatile. I find probably the three in the middle, so Bloom, Moment, and um, Enchanted, I'm sorry, Bloom, Honest, and Enchanted are probably gonna be the most wearable for you guys, but that's up to you. That's up to your complexion, your personal preference. I can't decide that for you. But to help, I am of course going to include a full swatch photo down below. You guys got to see them all on me in relation to my skin tone, hair color, eye color, etc. I find things look so much more different on me when I'm back to my natural color. Um, but I like them all regardless, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you're a big fan of the RMS lip polishes, I would love to hear it down below because like I said, I feel like they are the least favored of the RMS and I feel like because maybe they don't sound that exciting, but if you want a good comfortable color, which I think in the summertime we all especially do, I mean run. Get them all or just throw in a sample with your order. You always get three free with every order you make on Integrity Botanicals and I think this would be a good one to try due to the hefty price point as well. But that's it you guys. Thanks so much for all the love and support. If you want to check us out on social media in the meantime, everything is always listed down below. If you want an, a lip shine of your own, I am of course going to link that down below as well. I will also include a full ingredients list so you guys can check it out. RMS has some of the best ingredients in the biz, so nothing you really need to worry about, but just to make sure there's no allergens to you, anything like that. But that's it, you guys. Thank you so much again, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!